Would you like to know how to find a good tech recruiter? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I am the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. And we're an organization that's dedicated towards building high-performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years now, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades. And I want to help you get cloud hired, cloud promoted, and build the absolute best technology career. So we made this video on what to look for in a tech recruiter. And here's the reason why. When you want any of the most elite technology careers, hire a recruiter. If you desire to be a cloud architect, a solution architect, an enterprise architect, and a cloud engineer, get yourself a technology recruiter. The technology recruiters are paid very handsomely to help you get your first tech job, your next tech job, or get promoted in tech. So the tech recruiters can be one of your best friends. So in this video, we're gonna tell you how to find the best ones. See, the right tech recruiter can help you get the absolute best jobs, but the wrong tech recruiter will waste your time and they definitely won't help you. And since we want you to get cloud hired, in this video, we're gonna tell you how to find the best tech recruiter. Why is there a need for tech recruiters and how can they help you? I'm going to tell you, hiring a competent and capable technology professional is really challenging. In fact, it's so hard that organizations may need to interview a thousand people to find a single technology professional. It's that hard to find someone that's capable. And because of that, hence the birth of the recruiting industry. So tech recruiters help you hire the best technology talent because what they do is they enable you to ask for exactly what you want and they go and get paid to find the employer the perfect technology professional. So let's talk about why this works and why technology professionals do best by going through tech recruiter. Generally speaking, if I want to hire someone, I tell HR and say, guess what? I need to hire a cloud architect because I've got a cloud architect job open. So I call HR and I write my basic job description and HR dresses it all up and HR posts a job description. Now here's the thing, HR is gonna vet the candidates before they give them to me, the hiring manager. But are HR professionals technology professionals? Absolutely not. HR professionals are excellent, highly educated people. They know what how to find people that fit into an organization's culture. They know what to pay people, they know what their benefits are, but HR people are not technology professionals, which means, guess what? They have no idea how to gauge your technical competency, none. So an HR professional can't interview you and determine if you're good or not. So because HR cannot do this, HR writes very complicated job descriptions. The job descriptions will ask for 10 Olympic gold medals, 5,000 years of experience, and guess what? 10 different careers. Now, why is HR doing this? Let's give you the reasons why. Well, first, as I told you, they're not technology professionals, so they have no means to gauge your competency. So they assume lots and lots and lots of years experience equals competent, but that's not the case at all. Competency and experiences may be related, they may not be related. So let's examine two technology professionals. I've got a 12 year old girl here. She has zero experience and she just hacked into the Pentagon over here. I've got an architect, a security architect with 30 years experience that was in charge for securing the Pentagon. Now this 12 year old just defeated this person with almost 30 years experience. Who do I hire? The 12 year old that has no experience because she defeated somebody with 30 years experience because the 12 year old is more competent. But HR can't change the competency. They just assume that 20 years experience is better. And why is the second reason HR is writing these job descriptions with a million and one skills for the following reason. It takes on average 5,000 applicants to fill a single position, 5,000. Now let's look at the job of HR. HR often has thousands of open positions. Let's look at Amazon right now. Last time I checked, they had 2,510 pages of jobs of which there were more than 10 jobs per page. So imagine a situation where you have 5,000 applications for 25,000 jobs. As you can see, this is a little on the challenging side for HR. So that's why HR writes these long job descriptions to keep only what they feel are the best from applying. So here's what happens. The people that meet these HR job descriptions, lots of years of experience doing a tremendous number of things. 
they pass HR. And when we interview them as hiring managers, here's the problem we run into. This person knows this job, this job, this job, this job, and this job. Every job but the job we want them to do. Because HR basically finds jack of all trades with hobbyist knowledge of a lot of things, but masters of none. So what we then do is we call a tech recruiter, and that's why a tech recruiter exists. We use tech recruiters to bypass HR as hiring managers. We use tech recruiters because we cannot interview a thousand people. We don't have the time for it. So we hire a tech recruiter. Now the tech recruiter is an expert that helps us find people that can do the job. They're exactly what we like. So this is very different. Here I call a tech recruiter and I say, I want a cloud architect with this skill, this skill, this skill, this skill, and this skill. And then that tech recruiter will call me back a day later and say, Mike, I have the perfect cloud architect for you. You told me you were looking for a cloud architect with good sales skills, good leadership skills, and good emotional intelligence. I have this person for you. Would you like to meet with them? And of course I want to meet with them. So guess what? The tech recruiter told me to meet with this person. They told me how much I like this person. They told me their assets. So the tech recruiter already matched me up with a candidate. Now guess what else? The tech recruiter will prepare the candidate. The tech recruiter will teach them how to prepare them for the interview. That tech recruiter will tell them the things that I like and dislike. That tech recruiter will give that person the information they need to succeed on that interview. And not only that, the tech recruiter will call me and say, Hey, Mike, I've got a solution architect for you to interview. They've got good leadership skills, business acumen, emotional intelligence, extremely good network and data center design skills. You're going to love this person, Mike. Not only did the recruiter listen to my desires, prepare the candidate for the interview, they even pre-sold the candidate to me. So now I'm very motivated to meet this cloud architect or solution architect. My friend who I've trust, my tech recruiter who I've been working with for years told me I've got someone for you and I'm pre biased to like them. How much are we willing to pay the tech recruiters to be able to find a technology professional? A whole lot more than you think. 15 to 25% of a person's annual salary. We're literally willing to pay to someone to find us a competent person. Wow. Think about this. I hire a $200,000 cloud architect and I have to pay 25% of their salary. So I'm literally willing to spend $50,000 to the tech recruiter just to find someone that can do the job. So wow, the tech recruiter is going to be paid $50,000 to find you a job. So they are motivated to do it. So the employer pays these fees, not you. So if you ever find a recruiter that asks you to pay these fees, find a new recruiter. A good recruiter will be paid for by the employer. So how do you find a good recruiter? I'm going to give you some hints. And guess what else I'm going to do? I'm going to list my recruiter, the one that's gotten me three of the five professional jobs I've had in the description below. This recruiting team is excellent. And I will list my personal favorite recruiter that I've worked with for decades for all of you to help you all get cloud hired. Let's talk about how you find a good recruiter. Well, for one thing, talk to other people with senior level positions. Ask who their recruiter is that helped them get hired. And they'll be able to say, I worked with this one. They have great connections to the hiring manager. They helped me. Or they'll say, well, I worked with this person. They didn't help me with anything. Don't use them. So ask for references. And basically, I've got a great one. And I'll list my references for you in the description below. Two, look at the job postings by recruiters. Do they look accurate? So here's the thing. Does it look like a real job? Or does it look like an HR wish, wish list of 10 different careers? If the tech recruiter is hiring something that looks like a real job, ding, 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 this is a good sign. Why? It means that this tech recruiter spoke to the hiring manager and finds what the hiring manager wants and made a job description that's going to meet the hiring manager's needs. So they're going to present candidates to the hiring manager that they'll hire. By comparison, if it looks like an HR wish list, we'd like 30 years experience, 20 Olympic gold medals, Careers in this, 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 and this. It is not a recruiter you want to work with. This is not a connected recruiter. They don't know anything. What are they doing? Either they're just posting job descriptions and collecting resumes for the time when they actually have a job in the future, or they're just looking at job descriptions and posting them. In either case, they can't help you. You need a recruiter that knows what the hiring manager wants. So when you look at these job descriptions from recruiters, you need to know that they're real and that they're accurate. So look for that. Now the next one, can you get the recruiter on the phone? Let me tell you, when I list my recruiter, all I have to do is call her, Christina, how are you today? I want a new job. 
She and her team will be working on it immediately. But if there's a recruiter that you can't get on the phone, it's not a good sign. If you call a recruiter and they say, here, send me your resume and I'll get back to you afterwards, find another recruiter. They're not motivated enough to help you. So can you have a discussion recruiter? Now, the last thing to look for when you get a recruiter, do they prepare you for the interview? See, a really good recruiter will prepare you for the interview. They will know the company, know the hiring manager, so they know what the hiring manager wants. They can say, for example, Mike likes people who are honest, ethical, communicate well, and, and, and that's what he's looking for. Mike is concerned about expertise in architecture and not software development, not engineering. Mike wants to know your ability to do digital transformation. And the recruiter can even prep the candidate for that. So that's what you'll see in a good recruiter. Now you know how to find a good recruiter and why you should find a good recruiter. So if you're looking to get cloud hired, if you're looking to get promoted into a new job, find yourself a great tech recruiter. There's many of them out there. I will list my favorite and the one that has helped me in the description below. But go out there, get yourself a great tech recruiter and get yourselves cloud hired. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. Once per week, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry, industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Architects.